Okay, so today, Shrek Poop, I know, that's the name, has requested a jungle. So I'm giving you kind of, kind of a roundabout, kind of a jungle. But I'm gonna show you how I get the perfect square to a paper and the edge first. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take any size paper, do the exact same paper. So let's say this is the paper, oops. We're gonna turn this the other direction. And then you're just gonna go along. Tick -a -tick -tick, and you can make a mark right here. And this part right here, we're gonna be cutting off. Snip, snip, snip. So let's pretend I cut it off, okay? Then you are going to take a ruler and then you're gonna go from, make the border. So I'm just gonna go from one side to the other, but don't go all the way and stop. Let's turn it, go one side to the other, don't go all the way and stop. One side to the other and stop and one side to the other and don't forget to cut that part off. And then you have a perfect square paper and then has an awesome border, which is super fun to draw with. So, okay. So then now that I got my border, let's get our toucan. Now let's draw our toucan. So, um, Fun facts, did you know that only 6% of the land on earth is covered by jungle and rainforest? But you're like, what's the difference between a jungle and a rainforest? Well, they're very similar. They're usually right next to each other. And the rainforest is thicker in canopy and it's hard for light to get through. So that's usually the center and it's surrounded by jungle that is more um, open and has light and sunshine come through. Pretty interesting. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our toucan and we are going to start with a circle. And in that circle, we are going to draw, um, actually, let's go off of that. This is gonna be its amazing beak. And it's gonna come down to a point. Then I want you to come off of this circle and make a point. And then off of that, this is the bottom of its mouth and it's gonna come down to the point. So now we have this and it always has this awesome black shape at the end, we'll be coloring in black. Okay, so let's do inside of here. Oh, also, so it's not a perfect circle as you can see. So we're gonna break into this. So we're gonna come from right up here, take a little piece off of it. So we're gonna take, so I know that's hard to explain, but we're gonna come right here. I want you to take this part of the circle off. And then finish off that line. Okay. And we're gonna come from that same spot again, and it's gonna come down like this, and then go down. So this is the face here, and then inside here we have its eye. So we're gonna make a nice circle in here. And then in circle, we've got a shiny, and then a black pupil. Looks good. And so let's finish off the head. So the head's gonna come around and it's gonna come down. So we are going to erase right here and we're gonna make that finish off and go down and touch. And see how that is? And right here at the same point here, we're gonna make it come down. It looks like a little white bib it's gonna have on and let's erase this part of the circle here. When you do draw, try to draw lightly because then it's easier to erase. Now we're gonna arrange the bottom of the orange spot. That's that right there, Twink. Okay, it looks great. All right, let's do its, its chest. So from here, we're gonna come down. And from here, from right at this point, let's come down. And now it's from the same point. A lot of things going on right here. Come down. What else do I know about it? Um, jungles are mainly found near the equator where it's warm year round. Have I been to a jungle? Mm, kind of, I guess, because I've been down to, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'd be considered a jungle. Uh, 
Costa Rica, it's, but I don't know if that's, eh, that's kind of jungly, yeah. And, but you mainly find them in Central South America, Africa, and Asia. So I guess I was in Central America, yeah. So I've been to a jungle, but not the full-blown African jungle or something, Asian jungle. All right, now we're gonna do, um, coming off right off here, let's do, let's do bark. So this is gonna be a plant that it's gonna be sitting on. You can make it however you want. You can have branches coming off here. Have more branches. Oh, we're gonna do a little bit of a branch here. There we go. And this one's gonna be shooting off. It's gonna go this direction. And we're gonna have another piece coming off. And it's gonna come down here. We have another piece coming off. Okay. Now we're gonna put its it's funny little legs here. So we just put the little claws going over it. And you want to erase in there so it looks like it's clamping over. If you want to put little nails on there, you can. So let's do the next one. So we're just going to do an archway and then have it erase in there. Looks good. And then now behind it, it's going to come behind. This is going to be its tail feathers. Bloop. Do a little scalloped edge here. And then make it come back up. And it's going to go behind the tree and touch. Fantastic. All right, let's put some leaves in there. So we're going to connect a leaf here. And, oh, I forgot to put some branches coming off of here. So I'm putting a branch there. So I'm going to put a leaf. It's going to come all the way and touch the bottom. Now for the background, you can put as many leaves as you want to make it look more filling it in jungle. And if you want, you can put a line down the middle. Fantastic. Oh, that looks great. All right, let's put a couple of leaves here. I'm losing my lead. And now we're gonna add some extra little leaves. Oh, on each one of these corners, I'm just gonna do some big leaves. Do some other leaves. Do some leaves in this corner. And hey, just add the leaves wherever you want. Jungles are exciting, but that's where a lot of dangerous things live, like snakes. I am deathly afraid of snakes, yes. No, thank you. So I'm gonna put some more leaves in here. All right, so what I did for, I sharpied this thing and double sharpied in the background. As you can see, it's just more, oh, I got paint on me. Um, I just used jade green and some brown and I colored some yellow in there, some darker green. And then I picked some different colors of green for all of my leaves and just kind of like filled in the space. Well, um, Shrek poop, uh, hope you like it and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.